Ellis is here now to elaborate on the hammerhead <laughs> worm. What more do you want to know I about this creepy creature? Turn into two worms? Yes. It's like sci fi. Yes. Well, it's not the only one, right? But nonetheless, know, but it's disgusting. If you watch that transformation happen right. over time, it would take a little time, but yeah. nonetheless, it would not be pleasant no. to see. It reminds me, you know, we used to pour salt on slugs. Yes. It's not nice, but in not this nice. case, you should do it. Yes, that's what he said. Pour some okay. salt on it. <laughs> not sugar, salt. Yes. We're going to get into the music lyrics more. Are we? No. I love that. <laughs> Are I know, you doing the weather now? Yes, let's do the weather because okay, we do have that. important activity that people should be aware of. Of. We've been discussing it, the red alert. Oh, yeah. Yes, and then much nicer weather as we move into midweek. But the red alert is for tomorrow. We have two rounds to discuss. The morning commute, we expect rain and some embedded thunderstorms. And then in the evening, we expect strong, even severe thunderstorms that could bring hail, damaging wind, maybe even an isolated tornado. Another look for you at the specific timing. This really just demonstrates what we anticipate and when. 3 a.m., we've got rain moving in, some heavier pockets, and this persists through that morning drive. Slowdowns on the roadway should be anticipated. I'm not saying it's going to be widespread everywhere, but certainly we could see isolated flooding on those roadways, some ponding for sure. And as we head toward the noon hour, that line pushes east. A little bit of a midday lull for us, but there is still the chance of some isolated storms as we head toward the evening hours. And I think this is more post your PM commute. We see this stronger line of storms pushing through the region from sunset on. And with that line, Line, strong, even severe storms are more likely. Again, those damaging winds, maybe some hail, maybe an isolated tornado, although that risk is more significant if we look to our southwest. By Tuesday morning, we're going to see a little calmer activity, and then we could see a chance for a storm again on Tuesday. It's about a 40% chance. But Tuesday is certainly calmer than your Monday will be, and then Wednesday looks phenomenal. With the activity tomorrow, we could pick up a half an inch to more than three inches of rain. Again, it's all about where these storms set up. Now, rainfall wise, this month has been dry so far. I don't know if you've noticed how dusty things are getting, but yes, we have not gotten a lot of rain this month. So we're running about an inch dry for the month. For the summer, over three inches dry. For the year, a deficit of over four inches. But the reservoir levels are looking just fine. So no worries there. But nonetheless, at this moment in time, we could use a little rain to sod in the grounds. High temperatures tomorrow with the storm. Low to mid 80s for many. We're going to be in the mid to upper 70s north and east of the city. Your air quality tomorrow is looking good, in part thanks to the rainfall and your beach forecast. Well, advisable to go to the beach. Maybe you squeak in a few hours midday. Moderate risk of rip currents. Temperatures along the shoreline, mid to upper 70s. Peak of the week will be a Wednesday, folks. High pressures in play. Plenty of sunshine. Low humidity. Ah, beautiful with temps in the mid to upper 80s. Tomorrow, that red alert moving on to Tuesday. It's 85, 40% chance of storms. Beautiful Wednesday with sunshine. Thursday into Friday, another round of more storms in the forecast. Jessica, back to you. All right. Thanks, Vanessa.